Welcome to my channel. Today we're diving into the topic of tibolone, a synthetic steroid used in hormone therapy. We'll explore what it is, how effective it is, who can use it, and what long-term safety considerations are. Let's get started. Tibolone is a synthetic steroid that exhibits three types of hormonal activity, estrogenic, progestogenic, and androgenic. It is metabolized into three active metabolites. Two of these bind specifically to the estrogen receptor, while the third has an affinity for both progesterone and androgen receptors. Estrogenic effects of tibolone mainly target the bone and vagina, helping to control vasomotor symptoms like hot flashes and preventing bone loss. Interestingly, tibolone limits the conversion of estrone to estradiol, which may help reduce the estrogenic effects on breast tissue. Furthermore, its androgenic effects can influence the brain and liver, lowering levels of sex hormone binding globulin and mildly stimulating androgen receptors. Now let's discuss how effective tibolone is for various health concerns. Clinical trials show that 2.5 mg dose of tibolone is more effective than placebo but less effective than combined menopause hormone therapy for controlling hot flashes. It does carry a higher rate of unscheduled bleeding compared to placebo but is better than combined MHT. Tibolone's effectiveness in preventing bone loss is comparable to that of MHT. In the LIFT study involving over 4,500 women aged 60 to 85 with osteoporosis, tibolone significantly reduced the risk of both vertebral and non-vertebral fractures after 34 months. Women experiencing low libido may find that tibolone improves their sexual function, likely due to its combined hormonal properties. However, studies show mixed results when comparing tibolone to conventional MHT. Tibolone is suitable for postmenopausal women who have an intact uterus and have not had a natural period for at least a year. If taken during the perimenopause, users may experience irregular bleeding. When considering long-term safety, data is limited, as most studies follow participants for only two to three years. Here are some key points. While tibolone appears to slow proliferation in breast cancer cells, indicating potential safety for women at risk, there are conflicting reports. Some studies, including the Million Women study, suggest an increased risk of breast cancer among users, leading to current recommendations that women with a history of breast cancer avoid tibolone. The LIFT study found an increased risk of stroke among tibolone users, particularly in the first year of use, and for women over 60. However, other reviews have not found a significant increase in stroke risk. Research comparing tibolone to placebo or MHT has shown no significant differences in cardiovascular events or venous thromboembolic incidence. Some studies even suggest that tibolone may lower cholesterol and triglycerides. A Danish registry study indicated a higher risk of endometrial malignancy among tibolone users compared to non-users. However, a Cochrane review did not find significant differences between tibolone and placebo groups. In summary, tibolone is a multifaceted synthetic steroid with specific applications in hormone therapy, particularly for postmenopausal women. While it shows promise in managing symptoms and improving bone health, long-term safety remains a concern, particularly regarding breast cancer and strokes. Always consult your healthcare provider to determine if Tibolone is the right choice for you. If you want to know what the studies show about Tibolone in Asian women, tune into part two of this episode. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.